Fun Fun 6000, with how the CB room is looking, will we be more in nickel and dime? We will if our, not just down four, but our inside linebackers, if they're able to hold up, then we'll play a lot more nickel and dime. But the problem with that is you're just light in the box, so you got to have two stud linebackers. Buffalo, prime example. Um, they ran they ran a ton of dime and nickel the past two to three years with Matt Milano and Tremaine Edmonds. But you would watch them at times play the Chiefs, right? And the Chiefs have decided when they play the Bills that they're going to run at that. If those linebackers aren't able to stop the run, Cincinnati Bengals did it in the playoff game as well. When those linebackers in that D-line aren't able to effectively minimize that element of the game, it's just it kills you because you're missing that extra defender in that box. So take it from them. I would not play it like predominantly, predominantly, but it's still going to be a part of our makeup. But I just feel like for us, we got to make sure we're stopping that run because otherwise – like, they're not going to ever need to pass the ball versus you if you can't stop this running back from getting three, four yards of carry. And at times, when you watch the Bills and when they struggle specifically on defense, it was versus teams that could run that ball versus that nickel front or that dime front because you're down a, you're down a linebacker for that cover guy. Yeah, I'd like to think we're going to be good against stopping the run this yeah. year. Ogan Joby, Benton, right, we Hayward, should be. We definitely should TJ be. Highsmith, and... Yeah. These linebackers. I know mm-hmm. Holcomb and Roberts aren't world beaters. Right, right. But, but they're still good players, though. Yeah. I, good I'm players. assuming most people are thinking it, it's an upgrade in that linebacker room from no, last year. It should be in terms of overall physicality. Makeup, it absolutely yeah, and should stopping be. the run. Yeah. But I just think it's a different ask when you're telling those two dudes in nickel to stop the run versus when they're in base. Because, number one, in base, how many guys are in front of them? You got five dudes right your nick or your nose tackle your 2dn and your outside linebacker so you're going to numbers wise be good i'm not asking you to beat a guy to make a play i'm asking you to watch that running back and that's your guy 1v1 essentially if they got a tight end out there okay you me you as the inside linebackers versus that running back in that tight end coverage that's kind of how we would do it when you go to nickel i lose a dude down here so now five offensive linemen four d linemen catch my drill we don't got that number. Now you got to be able to not just win, but you got to win and make a tackle. Are they an 11 personnel? They got a tight end that they might be motioning off like how we do uh, Connor at times. And now you're sitting him. Now you got an extra blocker on top of that. It's just like, because now you're asking that nickel to, you got to be in here playing this run like a real like linebacker. Not all Corey nickels. Trice. Right, right, right. But not all nickels That's if he, can yeah, do if, that. If yeah. he could actually do something with that, you know, he's got that physicality. Not, Absolutely. It, yeah, it's probably early for him because because that's a that's a lot. He's a seventh round <laughs> pick. Uh, we already have Patrick Peterson, Levi Wallace, yeah. and I'm assuming JPJ is going to be he's getting first crack out yeah. of the young guys yeah. to be out there. But he, I mean, he's got a light frame to him. Yeah, like you said, it can you can work out of it, but those are just some of the. We've talked about, we've talked about, about that's getting all. Casey down there. Yeah. Neil, no, Nick, I don't. Nick is another dude that's going to yeah. get some opportunities in Yeah, I don't want Neil matched around. up against the receiver, but Minka, yeah. Minka might do all right against the receiver. Mm-hmm. Not consistently, but for a couple plays or whatnot. Yeah. Uh, that's you just got to get, like, the majority of the time you don't feel it. It's just going to be certain matchups where now we're feeling like we're exposed. And that's what, we, that's what I speak on. Those critical moments, because that's the difference between us just being an okay team versus being an elite team. It's all about those matchups. And when a team is able to identify this is their weakness and we can fully explode it and there's nothing they can do about it, that's the situation we don't want to be in. But when we start talking about some of these personnel groupings and stuff like that, that's where it gets a little bit dicey because a team can't identify that. And now you're kind of stuck with it. 